With this prayer, I acknowledge you and all African Americans. Please hear this from my heart. I apologize. Please forgive us. I will love my black neighbors the same as my white ones. I will love my black neighbors. I will use my voice in the most uplifting way possible. And do everything in my power to educate my community. Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So you'll often hear people refer to the woke mob as a cult or as a religion. So today I wanted to take a look and see if there is some truth to that. So most of us, when we hear the word cult, we think of the Manson family, Heaven's Gate. We think of the Jonestown massacre and how these very charismatic and narcissistic leaders were able to manipulate people into joining their cult by having this confidence that they are right no matter what. Now, the first thing I thought about was the fact that the woke mob doesn't seem to have a leader because one of the common personality traits of being woke is being very narcissistic and practicing self-worship. They don't even need a leader because everyone's experience, everyone's truth is the truth. It's all about your truth matters, live your truth, and if you interpret a certain experience in society as racist, homophobic, sexist, then it must be so, no questions asked. So in a way, this cult is a lot more chaotic because there isn't one leader. It's based off of identity politics, this whole ideology. So it depends on how oppressed you are in society. So if you wanna comment on something or ask a question, hmm, was that really sexist? You can't unless you fulfill a certain requirement of being a woman, for example. So if you don't qualify, you need to sit down and be quiet. Shroom Shroom's pronouns are neo pronouns. And that's as far as I can explain it because it's not my experience. For example, with the rise of neo pronouns, I can easily come out and say I am cake gender. And since no one else around me is cake gender, they can't really speak on how oppressed I am because of my cake gender. For example, cake gender. I know a few people who personally use this. But my truth is valid and it's always gonna be all about me, 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 me. Cult members in general never question the cult leader. The thought doesn't even cross their mind that the cult leader could be wrong. Now I experienced this when I was on the left, I thought I was 100% right. And when I did experience some sort of cognitive dissonance, I went to another woke individual and they assured me that the person questioning my beliefs shouldn't even be talking because, well, let's say that they're a cis straight white male, right? The most evil of them all. Why are you even listening to them? Because they rank low on the victim hierarchy, so we shouldn't even entertain their questions or comments about what we believe. You also have to apologize for your sin of, let's say, internalized racism. This is what you're taught in liberal training camp, aka college, where they tell you that every white person is inherently racist. All white people are racist. And a way that you could apologize is by virtue signaling. During the BLM riots, for example, you needed to post a black square, and if you didn't, that's Suspicious, why wouldn't you? Are you not one of us? Because don't forget that silence is violence. You do have to put in the work, activism for example. There is no redemption though. You will never be cleansed of your evil racist ways because of your skin color, obviously. And destroy whiteness. Even Obama talked about this. You're always politically woke and all that stuff. You should get over that quickly. The danger I see among young people, particularly on college camps, the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right, I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> If you do anything to upset the cult, you can be excommunicated. That's where cancel culture comes in. If you said or wrote or even thought something 10 years ago that they don't agree with, you're out of the cult. Now, for many people who are waking up to this, they say, okay, go ahead, cancel me. I don't want to be part of your cult anyways. But unfortunately, a lot of people are in a position where they can't afford to speak up. Some people in universities, for example, are being taught by liberal teachers who don't want to hear you out who don't even give a chance to debate, really. You're given a narrative and you have to write about that or make a presentation about that, but you can't really question it because if you question that, you're a bigot. But that's not the only price you pay for not going along with these lies. For example, if you don't go along with the gender ideology, you can be neither a man or a woman or both. If you go against that, you could be fired. Peer pressure plays a role in this as well, especially when we're talking about pronouns, changing your pronouns, sexuality. Not only because it's trendy, but because they will love bomb you and shower you with affection as soon as you change your pronouns to she, they, your gender identity is valid, we're so proud of you, you're so brave, and then they'll try to alienate you. We're so sorry that your evil bigoted parents don't want to refer to you as they, them. You should cut them off because here's a safe space for you. You can complain to us, you're safe here. 
But those people, those people are out to get you. So they will isolate you from your family and friends who aren't woke. They'll even claim that it's child abuse if parents don't want to affirm their child's gender identity. They don't have to inform the parents if at school yeah. the child is saying they are, you know, if they look like a boy but they're saying they're a girl. It's to stop the child being themselves in the most fundamental way. As far as I'm concerned, that's child abuse. And it's no coincidence that they start to recruit people during university, especially this is a transitional period. And that's when a lot of cold leaders like to recruit new members. All this preferred pronoun and CRT that's taught in the classroom, it's not presented as a theory, right? These are the facts. This is the reality. In a way, I wish that everyone who thinks that this sounds insane could sit in one of these woke American classrooms in college and just hear how the professors run the class. Because I understand it can be hard to believe, but this is what's happening. All it is is spending tons of money on getting indoctrinated. And then these students leave university completely brainwashed because all they did was talk about intersectionality and how pressed they are all day long. But having this outlook on the world does make you miserable because you're always looking for injustice. You're always looking for microaggressions. Not to mention that universities are now controlling speech, much like the woke mob in general. There's a lot of censorship. They're banning speakers that they don't agree with. And this does sound like what a lot of cults do. They'll ban certain books, they won't show the children TV or even let them play with people outside of the cult. They'll put trigger warnings on everything because you can't see what the other side is saying. It could be too triggering for you. They'll say that they're just looking out for you by not allowing you to hear a single word of what the other side is saying. Like the religious cults, the FLDS for example, they did this. This was the one with the polygamy and he had like 80 wives, 24 of them were children. He pulled the children out of public school because he didn't want them to know anything outside of what the cult approved of. Now cults exist on both the left and the right. I think of QAnon when I think of the right. These people think that Q has all the answers. There are also rules on what to wear, what to say, what to think. And of course you have all these slogans that you'll find on the woke side as well. They will also create this mass hysteria that prevents people from thinking critically about the issues that they're fighting for and just go based off of emotion. Also religion in America is in decline and without religion a lot of people are looking for answers and a sense of community elsewhere. People need a sense of purpose and the woke mob gives that to them. The struggle is fighting for equality for example. That's your purpose so if you're not finding sexism, homophobia, and racism everywhere then you start to feel empty. I think what attracted India to the group was the sense of unified purpose. We all walked in naively thinking, okay, Jim said he wants a utopia. I want a utopia. We thought we were joining a movement to make the world better. So they need that to fill the void. Now, you don't even have to be religious to do something other than that to feel complete and have purpose in life, right? Like your family, your friends, an instrument, sports, patriotism, your work. But all these people focus on is gaining oppression points. I think there's also a fine line between religion and cults. So we have to look at the behavior of these people. Are they getting aggressive if someone isn't on their side? Are they trying to constantly convert other people? Of course, there are plenty of religious people who do try to do that and don't leave people alone. But the woke mob is a whole other story. If you're not with them, then you're against them and they do get aggressive. And it's funny because the left says that they are all about diversity, but they care more about conforming than anyone else because everyone has to think the same. But the woke mob has some of the most miserable people you will ever meet in your entire life. And now with TikTok radicalizing Gen Z, it's so easy to feed this propaganda where they can meet like-minded individuals to discuss identity politics. Now, let's say you wake up to reality and you do leave the cult, which is hard to do because it could be all that you've ever known, which you'll start to hear the woke mob do is scream and yell about how you were never part of their cult. Do you think that the woke mob is a cult or is it a religion? Please let me know in the comments below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!